hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to start a graph GAN so you're going to need your bobbins you're going to need your hook and you're going to need your pattern so this is the pattern that I will be following. Um, it is Chase from Paw Patrol. So this one here. So when you start a pattern, especially when you um, read mine, um, I have color blocks for my patterns. I also have written for my patterns. I find this to be the easiest way to follow. So for row one, you're going to do a foundation chain of whatever this number is going to be plus one. So we're going to chain 98 instead of 97. So starting with my light blue slip stitch. So I'm going to chain 98 and then um, I'll come back and show you the next part. So now that I have my foundation chain, now we're going to look at the pattern here. So this, this is going to be row one now. So I'm going to do 97 single crochets. You can also do half double crochets. It's whatever one you want to do. So I'm going to do single crochet. So you're going to go into that first stitch from the hook into that top loop. Into the next one. So I'm going to do all the way down my foundation. So I'm going to have a total of 97 um, stitches at the end, but you want to do this. Uh, this is row one. So you're going to do one row of solid light blue or whatever your pattern calls for. Okay. So, um, I finished my 97 stitches and you do go into that last one there. So that counts as row one. So I would just highlight that one. I did it. Um, so now for row two, I'm going to do 11 light blue stitches. Now at the end of each row you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work so you go back and forth back and forth for a graph gain. Um there is corner to corner but this one is um, back and forth so you're going to go into that first stitch and i need to do 11 light blue so three, four. So I did 11 light blue. This is my 11th stitch and I'm not going to finish it. Um, not with the light blue color. I'm going to finish it with the uh, next color that my pattern calls for, which is a blue. So you just full finish the stitch just like that. So now you just go into the next stitch. So mine says I need eight blue. Now you can work over the tail if you'd like, or you could just set it behind you and continue. So that's four. five, six, seven, don't finish that last stitch. So 
so I need to go with the light blue again. So again, hook it and finish that stitch. And then continue on with the single crochet. So my pattern calls for 57 light blue. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back. So I did my 57 blue stitches, so my pattern calls for a dark blue. So again, this is my 57th stitch and I'm going to finish it with the blue. So going into the next stitch. So eight, nine, ten, and I will go in with another light blue. that's 10 so right here so you can see the two top loops is your stitch so going in there okay so that's your last stitch and then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. Okay, so that was row two for my pattern. So I'm going to mark that off. So you can see this is what um, I was doing. So now row three, these are the colors that you're going to need. So it tells you how many bobbins you're really going to need for that color. And then that way you can determine how many bobbins that you need to make um, prior to doing the, the pattern. So I'll do one more row just so you guys can see how I'm attaching all these bobbins um, and whatnot. So I need to do 10 light blue. Okay, so 10 light blue. And I like to keep my bobbins pretty close to my project. So here I need two blues, but I have a blue, like a light blue stitch here. So I just carry it over like that. And you're gonna give it some slack. That light blue stitch is going to go in. So one under that loop into the next stitch and two. So going under that loop pushes it 
out of the way so you don't have like a line right here and then you would see the light blue underneath. So that was two blue. So now I need white. So again, not finishing that second stitch. If you get confused where you need to go in next, so normally people would probably go right there, but if you turn it, you can see that that blue is actually coming out of that stitch. So it's the next one over. So I need eight white. So not finishing that eighth stitch, coming in with another blue, finishing that eighth stitch with the blue. So now I need two dark blue, so into this stitch, and then I'm going to pick up this one, go into the next stitch, grab this dark blue, and we're going to do a stitch. And what that does is it brought my this one up to the next um, row that we're currently on because now I need 55 light blue so I did my 55 light blue I'm not going to finish that 55 55th stitch so now I need two dark blue Again, I have a light blue stitch here, so I'm going to bring it over, give it some slack, go into that light blue stitch first, under that loop, into the next blue stitch. And there's my blue, my two blues. So I need a white. And I need two dark blues. So again, doing that blue stitch, picking up my light blue, going into the next stitch, and pulling over and pushing up. And then finishing it. So now you can see that it's like nice and straight. 
These are my color changes. And that is how you start a graph GAN with some color changes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it helps um, help you guys get started and maybe inspire you uh, to start something yourself. Anyways.